Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Antonio Garza. It's me, Antonio, your favorite baddie in all the land. Hold up. Did I say baddie? I meant to say saddie. Get it? Because I'm sad. Anyways, so if you haven't noticed, I've been off the internet for about, hmm, two months because I've been, well, sad. We know me. A sad whore. Anyways, I thought that for today's video, the best thing I could do to make myself feel better would be to get plastic surgery. You guys can finally know the truth. I did in fact get forehead enlargement surgery. JK. <laughs> so today, we're gonna go on a journey to make myself look the best I've ever looked. Because you know what? Ever since I cut my hair, I've been looking way too much like Dora the Explorer and it's really not cutting it. I didn't ask to be born Latina. So come along with me as we improve the way I look. And who knows, maybe I'll even be getting a procedure or two done. I don't know. You'll have to watch the video. Anyways, let's go. The first thing we'll be doing today is I'll be getting a belly button piercing. So I'm in the car about to go. The issue is, is that I'm scared, like for so many different reasons. I hate the lighting in this car. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Ew. Okay, anyways. My mom's coming and I'm scared and I'm like waiting for her. I'm like, hurry up, ho. I have plans later. So, yay, I cannot wait to be in uncomfortable pain for the rest of the week and for the rest of six months until it heals and gets infected 12 times. Infected with bacteria. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Now that I have my belly button pierced and I really be looking like a hot Cheeto girl, the next step is to get a cat. This doesn't really have to do with the video, but I did get a cat. And here's that. Hey guys, it's me. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with a cat in my hands, I'm also wondering the same thing. Queen. Yeah! So, the issue that I'm having recently is that I am ugly. We all know this. We're all aware of this. We all know this. But I'm ugly. And there's not really much that I think I could do about it. Just kidding, that's a lie. There's so many things I could do to make myself less ugly. <laughs> Can you stop abusing me? So I'm getting my hair done today. Yay! Yay! Okay, so as we know right now, my hair is short and shut up. I'm okay. My kitty has exited the room. So I'm up today, bright and early, to get my hair done. Because this is just step one of my many steps to become more attractive. So, I'm getting highlights, like a balayage kind of, but I'm also getting long hair again. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm like, I might be lying to you right now. I really don't know what's happening. After I got home from doing my hair, I looked in the mirror and I said, wow, not even Kylie Jenner could compare to the way that I look right now. Well, maybe she could. Anyways, I sat in my bed after getting home from getting my hair done and Noob looked at me right in the face and told me, you still look ugly. And I said, you whore, you're fat. 
And then I said, what do you think that I should do to make myself look better? And he said, you should get lip injections. So that's exactly what I did. Hi, guys. It's me. So, tomorrow is the most important day of my life. Tomorrow, I'm getting plastic surgery. I'm scared. And I know that you guys probably thought, oh, Antonio Garza is not the type to get plastic surgery. And if you thought that, then you were wrong. Sorry, sissies. You were just so wrong. I'm scared. It's gonna be a big fat needle in my lips. Oh, also I'm getting lip injections. That's what I'm doing, so. Anyways. Um, I'm getting lip injections tomorrow. Oh. I can't even believe that I'm saying that. I can't even believe it. Can you believe it? I don't think you can. So I'm getting my lips done. And you know what? I need it, so. My lips are probably the one part on my face that like I hate the most. That's actually a lie. It's just the easiest to fix. Anyways, so moral of the story is tomorrow, bright and early, I'm getting my lips done. And it's gonna be a really crazy experience. And I'm gonna vlog it all. Guys, I am sorry to say this. I never thought this day would come, but I'm changing. I'm never gonna be the same. Antonio Garza is getting lip fillers, and this is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so. Okay, bye. Good morning. <laughs> so it's the big fat day. This is the day that I've been waiting for, honestly. We could say for years. It's been years since I've wanted this day to happen. I'm getting my plastic surgery today. I accidentally locked him out of my room. You know, he abused me this morning. Ew, I just touched his like bungus on accident. Okay, what are you doing? I was debating, you know, when I decided to get my lips done, thinking, well, should I talk about it publicly? Should I not talk about it publicly? Should I eat my fungus? But I decided I definitely need to tell you guys that I'm getting my lips done because I definitely need to be one of those YouTubers that's honest about my lip fillers because I'm always honest with you guys and because I never lie to you and, be and because I have no reason to lie to you. Not even a single reason. Oh my God, like meow one more time and like you're out of here, queen. Like you're gone. So anyways, I have big fat lips. I'm getting injected today. I'm getting injected with lip. Just finished my makeup. We know what this means. Time for some big fat lips. I'm scared. Not feel my mouth. Are you scared? Uh, scale of one to ten. Maybe like a seven. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> So now that I've glued 14,000 pounds of hair extensions to my face, gotten silicone injected into my lips so that I have big fat lips, I got a belly button piercing, I fake tanned, and I even obtained a cat. I think that it is now time that I slap 14 pounds of makeup on and show you guys the new me.
It's me, and I'm back. This is a really exciting and monumental day for all of us because as we know, I have got my lips done. I've gotten plastic surgery. We've done a lot of things together throughout this whole journey. And ah! also if you hear noises in the back, it's because my cat is kind of being disruptive and offensive and he's homophobic, so. So, okay, now that we're here and I'm doing my makeup and I've finished all my transformations, let's talk about the experience of getting my lips filled. Let's look at them. You probably wouldn't know that I got my lips done if I didn't tell you, but that's just right now. When I do my lip makeup, you might be able to tell like the difference, how I look sexier and hotter now. You might be able to tell the difference. Hi. What do you want? I know, I know my butt is big. I just, I'm sorry that yours isn't. But you can't be salty about that. Have I ever told you that you smell like fish? That's what I thought. So I know, I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. You just smell like fish. Okay, well, he's now standing in one of my drawers. Fishy boy, you smell like fish. You smell like fish. Um, do you guys hate me? I know, it's okay. So, hey guys, it's me, I'm back. This is the new me. This is the new me. I feel... I feel really good about the way I look. I hate even saying that, because at this point, it's like, the way you look doesn't matter. I think that's the biggest lesson I realized throughout doing all of this. Getting my lips done, getting my hair done, like trying to make myself look presentable. I look at myself and I think, oh, I look better. Like, that's cool, but like, I just don't care. Like, it's nice to look better, but like, I don't care. Anyways, so I love you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys, then more than you would ever know. So thanks for watching me still. I don't know why you would, but thanks, I guess. So stay hydrated, eat some booty if you're bored, and don't go insane, and I love y'all, and bye. Actually, no, not bye. First, I must say, Follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna be posting pictures. I'm gonna be posting a picture where I look like this and you should go like it. And if it gets a million likes, I will sell my soul to the devil. I think I have worms in my brain. Like I said that a month ago and I don't think they left. I think they're still in there. So anyways, bye fatties. See you later.